Tony from CassetteComeback.com. Yes, I am not dead. Thanks to all of you who have been sending me messages and pinging me and stuff asking if I'm okay. I'm fine. I did update the community page saying, you know, I'm okay. It's just uh, life's got back to normal. My work's got really busy because I do have a day job. I'm not a pro YouTuber. Um, and I've been working away and stuff and I've got other projects on the go and I just really haven't had much time to sit down and do a video because I've got other stuff on the go. But the last video I did on the Akai deck, you all seem to like it and strangely enough I've got a deck in a box here so I thought what the heck let's just uh, do another video on it because I've got time to do this right now because I'm at home for a little bit so let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside it this uh, you know best laid plans of mice and men and all that this one's been really well sellotaped up but it's not the sellotape on the outside that matters it's the packaging on the inside that matters right uh yeah let's just go through this all right okay so well it's tried i mean there is some polystyrene this stuff however isn't great for packing decks in because it's pretty solid, it's not like it really absorbs anything, so any impact on this is just transferred straight through to the deck, so this sort of polystyrene isn't great for packing decks in. I know that a lot of commercial goods you get it packed in this, but if you notice it's just around the edges and there's always an air gap at the top and the bottom, so you know this holds it in place and the air gap means that it's less likely to sustain, to sustain impact but you don't get items completely covered with these and uh, there we go but let's have a look it looks like uh, we've got some yeah we've got a bit oh we've got we've got an acoustic form tile sound an acoustic form tile that does give a bit of packing but other than that yeah um i don't know what we got ah, right rack ears might give you a bit of a clue but let's have a look at the deck itself Euro plug, great. But here's the deck, it is an Akai GX912. So, what made me want to buy this? This was purely an impulse purchase. It's an Akai Professional. You see that? And it looks like uh, one of their samplers. It's the same sort of beige colour as their samplers and their other professional rack gear from the 80s and 90s and it is rack mountable and it's one of the things I just saw and I said oh that's so cool I have to buy it so I bought it unfortunately it looks like it's missing a knob I don't know whether it's in the box or whether that was in the description and I missed it oh, it's giving me the euro plug adapter but uh, ah, there it is there's a knob, thank you. See, there's two knobs near. That one, oh, it's broken off, but it doesn't actually, doesn't act, if we look at the actual thing itself, yeah, this knob seems to have broken, because it, it, it doesn't, yeah, if we look, it's got a piece broken on it. Bugger! Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, maybe the knob will work. I guess it's no biggie. I could glue it on. But anyway, that's what we have inside there. Now this, it's a three-head closed-loop dual capstan. Uh, I want to say this is just a rebadged... What is it? Is it a GX7? I'm sure you'll correct me, but... Uh, like I say, it's a three-head. It's got bias adjust on it. Like I say, it's rack-mountable and... Uh, well, so is it rattling? No, it doesn't appear to be rattling. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, plug it in. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, so it is all plugged in. So let's have a see 
how this works. So the audio feed for this again is just coming from my speakers. Um, like I say, it's a quick and dirty video, but uh, these things, yes, um, it's the first release from my new record label, Red Manor Records. It is this is Synthwave, and I normally would have publicized this on this channel earlier, but um. What can I say? I've got a few copies of these left. We're talking single digits. So if you want one of these SSQ cassettes full of brand new music that sounds like it came from 1986 from amazing new artists that you've never heard before, then uh, do go along to cassettecomeback.com. It's on the front page. Like I say, I've got a few left. Sorry I didn't publicise this earlier, but there we go. So um, let's test this deck out. So let's see if it fires up. Hey, success. Okay, good. Right, I guess the first thing to do, let's just make sure it's running at right speeds and levels, so open, look at that, automatic door, we like that, put my calibration tape in, okay, right, this tape is a strange one, I can't find my usual one, but this is one I made, and um, the tone off this is going to be 315 hertz, so let's have a see if this is 315 hertz at zero, that's where it should be. Yeah, seems to... Uh, Pretty much be at zero. What's the heritage on this? Okay, 311. So it's running a bit slow, but that doesn't matter because I can just adjust one of the pots or adjust the motor and uh, it should be okay. Okay, so stop it, eject it, glad the door works. Right, let's pop a tape in. So I'm going to just uh, use this Maxell communicator which is as good as you are to me because it's one I've got handy right okay so there's no auto calibration on this spare me one second door there we go right there's no auto calibration on this there is a tuning bias and obviously there's a monitor so let's just uh, see if I can do it by ear so this track I'm going to use now is off This Is Synthwave <laughs> yes um, and it's called Electrum by a brilliant new artist called L Torden so let's fire that up and let's see if this deck records okay so we're in standby at the moment shame about that knob really but it's not the only broken knob in this video <clears throat> right it's a bit hot let's turn that down a bit peak at about two yeah okay see how it records So let's just show the bias is working probably because now it should get very bright. Yep. A lot of travel on that and this should sound muffled now. Yeah. Well I wonder what this is. Can you see down there? It's got Sol and MLN. I haven't read the manual because I'm doing this on the fly. I'll have to see what that is. But uh Okay, let's compare it to source. Okay. That needs to be reduced. That sounds pretty good to me. Yeah.
Did I hit stop and it changed from source to... There we go. All right, yeah. Aha, it automatically changed to source. Okay. Oh, actually, maybe while I'm here, let's just uh, have a listen and grumble for any grumbles. No, fast forward's good. Rewind's good, so pretty much all good, apart from that not being broken. I'm pretty sure I could put something inside the actual cap itself to give it the friction. Yeah, this is this is loose and dirty. I knew this when I bought it. And there are scratches all over the top, but I do actually plan on racking this so I won't be able to see the top. Uh, but uh, we'll show that in a in a later video, I guess. But other than that, yeah. It's a good looking deck. Like I say, I love it because it is in the Akai Professional line. And like I say, I used to love their samplers or S3000s, etc., which all come in this sort of colour. Because this deck is from 86 and it was made until about 91. But like I say, it's not one that I've seen a lot of. And when I saw this one, I had to buy it, even though I probably paid over the odds for it. But sometimes the best reason to buy anything is just because you want it. That's. That's how it works, but yeah, there we go. And just one other thing for all you people, how can I put this, who are in developing nations where English isn't your first language, this deck isn't for sale. This is mine, so, you know, don't bother commenting, how much please, or uh, how much you'll sell for, you know, just, just don't bother, it's not for sale. You know, do, do you get that? You know, whenever you see a lot of stuff for sale, you get a lot of people saying, how much, how much? They obviously don't recognise, you know, what the whole point is of the advert in the first place or why people are posting it. It's like, you know, it's like that bit out of the movie Clerks, this bit. So how much is this thing anyway? Yeah, exactly. So if you do post, how much please, you're just going to get a simple response that says, moron simple so yeah just another little quick video i promise i will be getting some proper cassette videos back soon but when you realize why i've been away and what i've been up to as part of other things i, I guess you'll kind of understand but uh yeah then again i'm not a professional youtuber this does not sustain my family in any way shape or form i have to go and work so that's just the way it is all right so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and I'll try and be quicker with the next video than I have been recently. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.